I'm going to go over the problems to the four FRQ practice math questions for energy. So on your paper, it tells you that you're going to have one of these four questions for your energy exam. And the prompts here only have the math parts. Your FRQ on test day will also have non-math parts. Do not use a calculator and make sure on an FRQ that everything has units. Your setup and your answers must have units or no credit. All right, so number one, we have here um, a question about battery electric vehicles. Go ahead and pause the video to read the prompt. Okay, let's go on to letter A. Assume that fuel efficiency of the ICE, which is the internal combustion engine, is 25 miles per gallon, and that gasoline costs 375 per gallon. Calculate the cost of the gasoline per mile. So we're going to start off fairly simple as far as an FRQ math problem goes. So we set it up like this. And anytime you have miles per gallon, um, sometimes you see it written like this, MPG. Anytime you have the word per, you can put the gallon or the miles in the top or the bottom of the line right here. So I'm going to put gallons at the top because um, I need them to cross out. And so then I can cancel my gallons and I'm going to get the price per mile. So I need to do my math. And again, you need to do long division by hand because you cannot use a calculator. So 25 goes into 375. Let's bring my decimal up. 25 goes into 37 once. 1 times 25 is 25. I'll subtract and get 12. I'll bring down my 5. And 25 goes into 125 evenly at 5 times. I'm sorry, at uh, 5. Yes, so my answer is 0.15. But I make sure I put my units in my answer. So 0 0.15, and I'm left with dollars and miles. So I'm going to add that to my answer, and then I'm going to make sure I'm going to get all my credit for having my units. So it's 15 cents per mile for the internal combustion engine. All right, so the next question is B. And on B, it asks us to calculate the cost, or it says BI, calculate the cost of the electricity to fully charge the battery. Assume the battery is not charged to begin with. You should pause the video so you can read the full prompt for B. So let's continue. We have seven hours. It tells us it's going to take to charge and that it's going to draw four kilowatts. So remember that kilowatts and hours kind of smush together and you have this kilowatt hour. So that's the first part, but then we need to take this kilowatt hour and we need to multiply it by the price that we're going to pay at home to charge our electric vehicle, which is 11 cents. And so off to the side, I'm going to take 28 times 0.11, so 11 cents, and I'm going to do the math here by hand. And my, I have two decimal points here, so I have two in my answer. And so my answer is going to come out as $3.08. Um, my kilowatts actually um, cancel because I forgot to put it here. And so my kilowatts are going to cancel, and I'm just going to end up with dollars here in my answer. So the answer to BI is $3.08. Going on to BII. So it says on BII to calculate the cost of electricity per mile to drive the battery electric vehicle. So it says that the full charge can go 100 miles, and we know that it costs us here $3.08 to fully charge it to go 100 miles. So we want the cost per mile. And so when you take $3.08 or $3 divided by 100, well, you can also round it as well. 
and to the nearest cent. Um, that's an appropriate thing. If you were to do the long division by hand, you would do it like this. And you would get eight as a place. So we're gonna round it here to really just three cents a mile. And so our answer here comes out as 0 0.03 per mile. Some of you could do that last part in your head. That's okay. As long as you set up this part, and if you know when you divide by 100, you're going to move the decimal once, twice, that's okay, and you can come up with the same answer. Going on to the next one, so on your paper it says D. I know we skipped C, but um, that was just an error. Um, but go ahead and pause the video so you can read the prompt before D. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for D. Calculate the difference in CO2 that would enter the atmosphere if both cars were driven 100 miles. This is a simple addition and subtraction problem. So first let's find the carbon for the internal combustion engine. So it says here that it drove um, 72, or it emits 72.8 as it um, drives. Um, but then to get the gasoline to the car, drilling and refining also releases 17.7 pounds of carbon. So I'm going to add those together, and I'm probably going to have to do it vertically because that's just how my brain works. Let me make this a little bit nicer. So 72.8 plus 17.7. And when I do this math off to the side, I'm going to get 90.8 five pounds of carbon. And then I need to subtract the amount of carbon that is used by or emitted by charging the battery electric car. And so when I charge it at home, um, if I am at home and I'm using a coal electricity at home, which half of our nation does, it's going to emit 63 pounds, 63.6 pounds of carbon to charge that car at home because it had to burn coal to um, charge that car. But it's less than driving it, so when I subtract, um, I'm going to get an answer of 26.9 pounds. And so that's my answer. And so math on an FRQ is not always hard. Sometimes it's just addition and subtraction. And again, it's just figuring out what they want you to do um, to understand then how to set it up. So the hardest part again of some of this math is just setting it up. Going on to number two, pause the video and go ahead and read the prompt about anaerobic methane digesters. All right, let's go on to A. Assuming that the cost of electricity remains constant and the farmer starts using the manure from the cows in an anaerobic digester to produce electricity on the farm, calculate AI, the number of kilowatts of electricity that can be produced in a year. Okay, so I got to think about which of the givens that I need to solve this problem. So I know that um, I have 500 cows. And I know that the cows with their methane waste, so their manure, and they can give me three kilowatt hours of methane per cow per day. So we say cow slash day or cow dash day. And we want it per year. So do be careful on FRQs because they often ask you years, and a lot of times students forget to convert to years. So now I, a lot of things can cancel. My cows cancel, my days cancel, and I'm left with kilowatt hours per year, which is what the question asks for. It says the number of kilowatts of electricity that can be produced in a year, and hey, look, kilowatts per year. One of the advantages of setting up work this way is that you can check and see if you can cancel so you can get the right answer. So now I'm going to multiply. I know that 500 times 3 is 1,500. 
and then I'm going to multiply it over here by 365 and I'm going to go ahead and do that math. You've got to brush up on your multiplication by hand. And when I do all of this by hand, I get this answer. You should pause and make sure you know how to do this as well. So my answer for AI is 547,500 kilowatt hours per year. All right. So we're going to then go on to II. And then it's going to ask us the amount of money the farmer can save in a year not counting the cost of the installation. And you can round your answer to a nearest thousand. Okay, so if he's going to be able to produce that much um, kilowatt hours, let's go ahead and bring it down from the first problem. So 547,500 kilowatt hours and normally that would cost him from the electric company it would cost him 10 cents per kilowatt hour so basically I can take this number and multiply it by 0.1 which all that means is I have to move the decimal point this way again if you need to do it by hand go ahead and do it by hand so my answer now is $54,700 because my kilowatts cancel out or it says you can round to the nearest thousand so I can round to 55,000 and that's the money that's saved by not have to purchase the electricity from the electric company. Going on to AIII Okay, so how much time will it take in years to recover the cost of installing the digester on the farm? And you can round your answer to the nearest whole number of years. So the cost of the digester, it tells us, is $400,000. And we save, and this is why it asked you to round, because it's easier to do this math that way. And so this... Um, one of the strategies for this type of problem, this division, is to cross out the same number of zeros at the top and the bottom. So I can cross off 3 here, and I can cross off 3 here. So now I have 55 going into 400. So I know 50 goes into 400 eight times, so 55 is going to go in less, so let's do it at 7. And then over here, I can do my little math to calculate what that is. So 7 times 55 is 385. Subtract, I get 15. Let me, here's my decimal, and add a zero, bring it down. 55 goes into 150. Well, it doesn't quite go in three times, it goes in twice. And we can leave it there because it says you can round up to the um, nearest number of years or round to the nearest number of years, not round up. And so it is seven years to pay back the cost of digester because of the money that you save on the, um, on the digester. All right, so on your paper, it, it, it's the next answer. It kind of looks like a B or it kind of looks like a D. The Xeroxine didn't come out very well. But it says to calculate the minimum number of cows the farm would need to produce 800,000 kilowatts of electricity per year. All right, so we know that each cow gives us 3 kilowatt hours per cow per day. So we can say cow dash day. So we want to find out how many you know, kilowatts that gives us per year. So it's 365 days per year. And so now our um, days cancel out, so we know the number per year. And so off to the side again, I can do 365 times 3, 
and that's going to give me 1,095. So my answer here is 1,095 1, kilowatt hours per year, but I need to use that because the cost, um, I'm sorry, it, asks, it says that we need to produce here 800,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. And each cow is going to give me 1,095 kilowatt hours per year. So it's asking me how many cows. Um, this is actually cow years. Let me just fix my things. Cow. And this is also per year. And so it, it kind of looks strange, but the cows cancel out. I'm sorry. The years cancel out. The kilowatts cancel out. And the cow... Um, kind of flips up to the top here. So when I do this long division problem, 1,095 going into 800,000, and go ahead and pause the video and do that big long division problem. This one's kind of a hard and long one. Um, it's unusual to have it be this yucky on an AP test. But when you finally do the long division problem, you end up with 730.5 cows. Now, would they count this as correct on the AP test? Yes, but how can you have half a cow? So you can also round it up to 731 cows. So either's okay. They would take either answer for the AP test. They're not that picky.